Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Saturday. It is uh, 12 20 in the afternoon on Saturday. Got up at around 10 with a massive, 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 massive headache again. And uh, thankfully, the ibuprofen has worked to get rid of it. So I decided to finally get ready for the day, take a shower, and do my hair, and just kind of be like, <clears throat> see how I feel. Still feel like crap right now. It's life, and uh, lungs are junky. They've been arguing with me hardcore, and just not good. So better than the l yesterday at the moment, but I mean the day has just begun in terms of me actually being up and about. So we'll see how it goes from there. Uh, at one of the wineries that I'm a member at, uh, just down the street tonight's a wine club package pickup, which uh, means I get to go pick up six bottles of wine. So I'll do that today, and then I have homework and reading to do and papers to write, so I might uh, go to Common Grounds, knock out the rest of the book, and then finish a paper, or mosey back toward home, depending on how I feel. Uh, hopefully, after getting some food in my stomach, uh, I will feel pretty good. So, <laughs> fingers crossed and just positive vibes for the day. So with that, it's time to pack up my briefcase, get Orion ready to rock and roll, and head on out of the house. So I've gone and picked up the wine. Uh, it's in the back of the truck over there. And spent a little time there, but I still feel like shit, so homeward bound I am. So far, it's uh, two o'clock in the afternoon, and uh, stomach's disagreeing with me, just body is not happy, so home to the couch is where I belong. Not sure if I want to pick up food on the way home or just uh, order in or eat something that's in the freezer. Probably order in later on tonight anyway, but right now it's not a good idea to be out of the house. I just don't feel up to par, not even close. So. I'm worried that I'm actually coming down with something. Uh, last time I was at my pulmonologist's office, everybody was hacking up a lung, quite literally. And I'm sure I got something from there. It's only been like a week and a half, so usual incubate incubation periods for most illnesses is seven to 14 days. I'm at that mark. It sucks. But regardless, I'm not feeling well, so home is where I am going. On my way back to the Casa, I actually ran into a friend of mine from the military. Uh, saw the van, I was like, man, I know that van. Where do I know that van from? And as soon as I got close, I looked over and it was my friend Darren. Uh, they're in town for the next couple of days. So, called him, got to chatting. We'll see if uh, we can get together one of these days for dinner while he's in town with the family and uh, hang out for a little bit. But for now, I'm back in the house. I'm going to throw some sweats on and I'm going to do some homework and get this vlog edited and posted. After editing and posting the vlog, I completely and utterly passed out on the couch. Like, finished the vlog around 2.30. I woke up 10 minutes ago. Oops. But... With that nap and just relaxing and listening to my body, I feel freaking fantastic. Uh, for now, anyway. So, I'm gonna go pick up my friend Darren and his girls. We're gonna go see a movie, then do pizza and then game night. So, it's kinda cool. And I also get to check out this new place near where the winery is. So, I told him I'd be there in about 15 minutes. I need to hit the road to be there on time. So, I have to start heading that direction right now. It has been an awesome evening hanging out with my friend Darren and his older daughter Kayla and then Samantha, his youngest daughter, which they're only nine months apart from each other, give or take a couple of weeks, and uh, had dinner with the whole family, Liz, uh, the new baby, Levi, and the rest of them. <laughs> they just drove by their lost in the parking lot. Then we went and saw The Meg. It was a good movie and totally enjoyed it. It was okay good. Not like something to write home about, but definitely a decent movie. And afterwards we came to Tony's New York Pizza. 
because the girls wanted pizza for dinner, so that's what we did. They had pizza, I had linguine with clam sauce, and they had... My camera cut me off, I ran out of memory. But uh, definitely had good dinner, and definitely enjoyed hanging out with my friend, and I picked them up at this place. It's a warrior retreat for veterans and soldiers who have been injured or are sick and healing. That's actually only like five miles away from my house. So when I actually got to see it and be inside of it, it's so cool. And I'm just so glad that they've been able to use these benefits and just the benefactors that are out there that allow them to do that. It's, it's fascinating and just awesome because it gives everybody an experience and it's perfect. And with that, I am going to head back home. Uh, with my nap, I feel really good, so I'm gonna try and knock out some reading as much as possible and go from there. So, on to home. Even with the nap today, I'm still really tired. I uh, had a great evening with my friend Darren and his family. It's always great to see the girls and just hang out and actually get to hold his baby. Uh, went to the baby shower, I think it was June? June 21st, I think was the baby shower, and then, no, May, because he was born just after, so May. Took me a second, sorry, brain's not functioning to that level. But uh, great to see the little guy, Levi, and uh, apparently he, uh, he fit into the suit that I got him for like a couple days, and they took some pictures and sent it to the wrong number, but eventually they'll send them back to me so I can see how he looked. I got him a shirt with a little bow tie, so hopefully. Did some reading on the couch here momentarily. Uh, finished chapter 15. I have 42 pages left, which is chapter 16 and 17, and then the book is done. So I'm thinking to knock that out in the morning or whenever I get up tomorrow, just kind of have a low key stay at home kind of day tomorrow. Maybe go out and get uh, a caffeinated tasty beverage. Actually, I have tea. I have lots of tea. And by lots of tea, I mean lots of tea. It's a tea cabinet full of tea. I am a huge tea drinker. And my grandmother, aunt, and family always buy me tea. And I go to Starbucks because it has better tea. I'm not, that, I'm not a big coffee drinker. But I do have tea in the house that has three times the amount of caffeine than a cup of coffee. So, I might do that instead, but I am exhausted. My brain has stopped functioning about five minutes ago. So I'm gonna end the vlog here tonight by saying thank you all for watching. As always, have a great night, and I will see you guys tomorrow.